Hey Daytime gang, it's Sandy and Rick with the Midlife Road Trip and we are on the road trip of a lifetime. We're visiting some of the most patriotic small towns in America. We kicked off the best of the road rally in our nation's capital of Washington, D.C. Our journey took us to Watertown, New York, home to Fort Drum and the 10th Mountain Division. A thousand islands, some of the most beautiful landscape you'll see anywhere, friendly folks, and it's steeped in history. Then we headed way back south to Duluth, Georgia, where I had some of the best pie that I've ever put in my mouth. Duluth sits on the Continental Divide. We had our picture made right there with a crack in the steps between us. And throughout Duluth, everywhere you go, there are flags mm -hmm. remembering people from the Duluth area that served our country. Our travels took us even further south to Deland, Florida, where they have a world-class skydive training facility. It's home to Stetson University and also the Stetson Mansion, which was the first house in Florida to have electricity. Thomas Edison was a friend of Mr. Stetson and he designed the electrical system for the mansion. Some of the original Thomas Edison light fixtures are in the house and still working to this day. Then after a brief encounter with a tropical storm, we headed to Enterprise, Alabama, which is the home to Fort Rucker, which is the nation's largest helicopter training facility. We also learned that Enterprise has a monument to a boll weevil, which is a bug. A bug! The story goes that the boll weevil ate all of their cotton crops, and then they replaced it with peanuts, and the town became quite prosperous, and Enterprise today is one of the largest peanut producing areas in the whole world. So now we're heading west. We stopped a little detour here in New Orleans. You can't go to New Orleans without getting beignets, and you can't have beignets without getting little powdered sugar children. all over you. So from here, we're going to Gainesville, Texas. Then we're heading on to Mandan, North Dakota, which I don't even know how to get to North Dakota. But, but we'll find out. We got GPS, so we're <laughs> going to be all right. From there, we're going on to Seattle, Washington, where the best of the road concludes. And that's where they'll announce the winner of the most patriotic small town in America. Follow along with us on bestoftheroad.com. We'll see you on the road.